How can I escape hell? I can't think of a more important question a person could ask with respect to uh, their own future well-being. That said, the fact that it's a question about their own future well-being might lead some who are tempted to be more pious than God to look at the question as profoundly impious. That is, uh, there are those who sort of reject out of hand uh, any notion that suggests or treats the Christian faith like fire insurance. You know, you don't really believe it, you don't, it doesn't really matter to you, but you are scared just in case, a kind of Pascal's wager approach. And I understand the concern, I understand the objection, but I also understand this. When the gospel message is preached throughout the Bible, there is included in it an element of self-interest for the recipient. When Peter preached at Pentecost, the people cried out, what shall we do? And Peter didn't say, oh, oh, you're just still worried about yourself, aren't you? Well, you need to stop worrying about you and start worrying about Jesus. No, he says, this is what you need to do. And by the way, that's the answer to the question. The answer to the question is to repent and to believe the gospel. And you will escape God's judgment, the eternal torment that comes to those who die under judgment for their sins. Now, you may think, well, I don't really have any sins. Actually, you don't really think that, because if you did think that, you just committed another one. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> of course, we're all sinners. Every last one of us are sinners. But the promise of God and the provision of God is this. He sent his only son to take on flesh, to become a man, to live a life of perfect obedience. And then he sent him not only to die under the torturous Roman process of crucifixion, but to also receive the judgment due to all those who repent for their sins. Jesus, who was sinless, took on the penalty from his Father that is owed to those who believe. And made the promise, if you will turn, if you will reject your rejection of God, if you will acknowledge your rebellion against God, and if you will cry out for God's mercy, trusting in what Jesus accomplished on the cross, resting in that, standing before God and saying, I don't have anything to give you. I don't have any way to earn your favor or your forgiveness. The only thing I can do is cry out to you that the blood of Jesus covers my sins. And friends, if you do that, or if you have done that, and you stand before God and you proclaim that, he will not merely declare you to be not guilty. He will not merely stamp your ticket into heaven. He will run and embrace you as the father that he is. It's not complicated. There's not 17 steps because you're not stepping up to heaven. But God is stooping down to us. How do you escape hell? Well, you run to your father. Do you need to give up your sins? Absolutely you do. Will you succeed in giving them up? Not till you're dead. But you can't hold on to your sins and receive his grace. You've got to let it go. Friends, if you've got more questions, contact me. I would be happy to talk about this further with you. You can send uh, 
Any questions for Ask RC or any co comments that you don't want to make public, you can send them to me at my email address, which is hello, RCJR, hello, RCJR at gmail.com.